Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video on factoring polynomials. And these polynomials are, are going to have a certain pattern of x squared plus bx uh, plus c. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to follow along with me on the first page of notes. And then you have a chance to try some problems on your own. And then at the end you can see how you did. Alright. So our goal is to factor a, a trinomial like x squared plus 9x plus 8. So I want to know what times what will give us this, okay? But before we do that, let's go back to what we kind of know already, and let's actually multiply x plus 4 times x plus 6. And you should know by now that in order to do that, you need to, to follow FOIL, right? So uh, x times x will give us x squared. And now I'm going to do the last terms. 4 times 6 gives us 24. And now let's do the outside and the inside. So 6 times x is uh, going to be 6x, 4 times x is going to give us 4x, and together it gives us 10x. Alright, now let's do the one down here, uh, x minus 3 times x minus 7. Uh, same process as before, so x times x is going to be a x squared. The last term is going to be negative 3 times negative 7, which is a positive 21. And now the inside and the outside, so negative 3x and negative 7x together gives us a negative 10x. All right, so I actually wrote down those products right underneath, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try to do the opposite. We're gonna try to deconstruct or factor x squared plus 10x plus 24. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in our little factor bars here. All right, and so here's my first question for you, okay? How did we get this first x squared? What do we do, remember? Okay, we had to first multiply the x times the x, right? Okay, so I know that if, if it starts with an x squared, our first terms are gonna be an x and an x, all right? Now, to get the 24, do you remember how we got that? Okay, if we did FOIL, all right, it would be the product of the last terms, right? So 4 times 6 gives us a 24. But, yep, so I'm going to put a 4 here and a 6 here. Now, to get the 10x, remember what we did is we added the product of the inside and the product of the outside. All right, so because we're adding, we're going to put a plus sign here and a plus sign here. And there it is. x plus 4 times x plus 6 gives us the product of x squared plus 10x plus 24. All right, but here's the key thing I need you to understand. All right, they're not, they're not all that easy, but to get the 10x in the middle, what you have to do is you have to say, all right, what times what gives us the last term? So four times six gives us 24, but also adds up to the 10 in the middle. So four times six gives us the 24, that's right. And then four plus six gives us the 10 that we want as the coefficient of, of the middle term. So let's try this one down here. So here we have x minus three times x minus seven. And I wanna get this, right, from this. So let's write our parentheses. And I know because we start off with, with an x squared, it's gonna be an x and an x. And now I have to say, what times what gives us 21, but adds up to negative 10. So what has a product of 21 but a sum of negative 10? And that would be a negative 7 and a negative 3. Because negative 7 times negative 3 gives us a positive 21, but negative 7 plus negative 3, right, gives us a sum of negative 10. All right, so let's try a few more. So here we have x squared plus 9x plus 18. So again, begins with an x squared, just like up here, right? So we know it's gonna be an x and a x. Now here's the hard part. We have to say what times what gives us 18, but adds up to nine. So what times what has a product of 18, but has a sum of nine? And we can say plus six and plus three because six times three gives us the 18, but when we add the inside and the outside products, when we do FOIL, right, we'd get the 
the 9x. All right, let's do another one. So here we have x squared, take away 6x plus 5. So again, our first terms are going to be an x and an x. So now we need to say what times what gives us a product of 5, but a sum of negative 6. Hmm. So what times what multiplies to, to 5, but adds up to negative 6, and that would be a negative 5 and a negative 1. Because negative 5 times negative 1 gives us 5, and negative 5 plus negative 1 gives us negative 6. All right, the last one x squared plus 13x plus 30. So we're going to have an x and an x. So now we need to say what times what gives us 30, but adds up to 13. And that one's kind of easy because it's going to be a 10 and a 3, right? Because 10 times 3 gives us 30, but 10 plus 3 gives us 13. And there it is. All right, so knowing this method, we can now uh, factor out trinomials. So what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video and try the your turn problem now. now, And then when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say I do with these problems, okay? So here we have x squared plus 8x plus 7. So we're going to factor these. And I know because it starts with an x squared, this is always going to be an x and an x. And then to get a 7, I want to know what times what gives a 7 but adds up to 8. And that's easy. That will be a plus 7 and a plus 1. Okay. Now you could rewrite this as x plus 1 times x plus 7. And you get the same thing. Okay. All right, the next one, x squared plus 25x plus 24. So again, it's going to be an x and an x. And this one should be plus 24 and plus a 1. All right? Now think about it. Why didn't I use 8 and 3? Well, 8 and 3 would give us a product of 24, right? But 8 plus 3 doesn't give us 25. So you really have to be selective about what numbers you use. All right, here we have x squared minus 15x plus 14. So again, it's going to be an x and an x. And I know because we want to get a product of 14, but we want to have a, a negative 15 as a sum. It's going to have to be minus 14 and then minus 1. Because negative 14 times negative 1, well, a negative times a negative is a positive. Um, but then if you add the negatives together, you get a negative 15 in the middle. All right, this one here. Uh, x squared plus 16x plus 60. So again, we're going to have an x and an x. And then this time a plus a 10 and a plus a 6. All right, for this trinomial, x squared minus 12x plus 20. Again, x and an x. And we're going to have, uh, let's go with, hmm, oh, minus 10 and minus 2. Because negative 10 times negative 2 gives us a 20. And then a negative 10 plus negative 2 gives us a negative 12. All right, and then the last one. We're going to have an x and an x. And then this one's going to be a minus a 7 and a minus a 2. Negative 7 times negative 2 gives us a positive 14. But negative 7 plus negative 2 gives us a negative 9 as a sum. All right, how'd you do?